what we have here today is uh, I want to hook up some power to go to charge the batteries on the travel trailer and I had put a aftermarket uh, brake controller on here and it was not activated uh, in the uh, computer so if you take and put a voltmeter here across uh, these two terminals here that would be in the one o'clock and seven o'clock position uh, even with the engine running there is no voltage going there and that's what would charge your uh, batteries on your travel trailer so what I'm going to do is uh, take and uh, find which wire goes to the back here uh, tap into that with a relay that will be uh, triggered by uh, the on and off of the, the key and then uh, go ahead and uh, hook that up so we can uh, charge the batteries while I'm driving down the road. So to uh, assist in the ease of uh, hooking this up here uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I went and purchased a wiring harness uh, off the internet for ten dollars uh, comes with the wires and the relay and a fuse holder and everything uh, this is for a light bar for a vehicle an off-road vehicle and here is the little schematic here for what's going to be hooked up so what we have is uh, power going into the relay uh, that would be the 12 volts that we want to run run to the back and then we need to have uh, our switch here to turn the relay on and then we have a ground and then we have the wire coming off the 7 pin connector that will receive that 12 volts coming off the battery here and uh, I'll show you how to hook that up on here then I purchased for nine dollars I purchased some uh, T connectors so I'm into this for less than twenty dollars and about uh, 45 minutes of work okay this is uh, underneath the truck in the back this is our seven pin connector here and what we want is this orange wire we need to locate that in the engine compartment okay in our engine compartment here try to zoom in here I located the orange wire right here and I'll zoom out so you can see which wiring harness that is Okay, to get a uh, 12 volt trigger wire, I had a hard time finding one that uh, would turn on and off with the, the key switch. Uh, so I noticed inside the uh, 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter outlet is a keyed switched item. And so I went underneath here. I just Simply uh, pushed in on each side of the uh, glove box, let that drop down, and uh, reached up there and I put a T-tap on that uh, blue and white wire. That'll be my trigger wire for my relay. Okay, to get the glove box to drop down, what you want to do is push in on both sides here. And then you have a little... Uh, little strut that you have to take and uh, remove on there and then uh, that'll drop down. Okay to reinstall your uh, glove box you want to uh, put this little uh, thing in the bottom hole and lock it in and then push in on these tabs here on both sides to uh, those little bumpers in there. So on this side of the truck to get this trim panel down, 
Just grab it here and then uh, give it a good pull. And then it'll come down. And uh, then I fished my wire through here. Okay, now this is uh, behind the uh, brake pedal and that uh, to the uh, edge of the truck here. There is a grommet where the uh, wiring harness goes through. I am going to simply poke a little hole in there and then run my wire through that. So next one I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, push this through that grommet that uh, the wiring harness goes through uh, just to the left of the brake pedal. So what I did is I uh, took a nail, cut the head off of it, and uh, I'm going to take my uh, wire stripper here and uh, peel back some of the insulation. I'm going to take my nail and stick it in here because it is uh, pretty hard to get it through that grommet since it has uh, two walls to it. If you just try to uh, poke a hole through it and uh, jam your wire in there, it will uh, just bend all over. So I'm going to go ahead and jam this on here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of tape on there and uh, push that through the grommet. Okay, I got to push through the grommet up there. I'll have to uh, reposition the grommet. I'll go through on the other side and then uh, pull it out. Okay, I managed to get the wire through there. I ended up uh, taking and uh, putting some shrink tube on there and because uh, it uh, kept binding up and then I put a little bit of uh, dish soap on there and uh, was able to get it through that uh, grommet. Okay some of the parts that came with the uh, light bar kit was this switch here. We will not be needing this switch because we're using that uh, <clears throat> switch uh, power that we just ran through the firewall and uh, this right here is going to be our uh, power line going in and then this is our ground and we will not be needing these other grounds here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, clip those off. We're only going to need this white wire. That'll be our trigger wire. And this other thick wire here will be the wire that will go to uh, the for the battery. Uh, to connect up to the uh, orange wire that we uh, did. And we won't be needing this red wire. So I'm going to clip those off and then cap them off. Okay, so I got these uh, just capped off until we uh, test it, make sure everything's working right. Here's our fuse that'll be connected to the battery. <coughs> this is our hot wire out that will go to power up the trailer. This is our trigger wire here and then our ground and uh, I'll put some uh, RTV silicone on here when I'm all done with this to make sure uh, those don't get corroded and what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and uh, mount that to the back and uh, then hook up all the, the wires first and then I'll hook it up to the battery. Okay, I connected the power to that orange wire going all the way back and that is the hot power that comes off of the relay over there. 
and I hooked up our trigger wire which was that that uh, blue wire that came out from down below there and I hooked that up to the uh, white wire on the uh, relay and I grounded it and now we just have to hook up the uh, power to it so on the side of the uh, fuse box here there are all these lugs here just going to uh, take that nut off there and then uh, take my eyelet here put it on there and then uh, tighten it down and that will power up the uh, relay and uh, once we uh, turn the key on it will energize the relay and send power back to the uh, 7 pin connector. Okay our power is connected. I'll go ahead and push that wire down so we can get this cover on. I believe this cover has to go on first. And then we'll snap that cover on and we're all done. Now with the truck running here. Have uh, 14 and a half volts. That'll be enough to charge the uh, batteries on the travel trailer. I also put some RTV on the uh, wire that goes to the back there where I tapped into it. Okay, the wire nuts that I had uh, kept off the wires we weren't using, filled those up with RTV silicone 